All right, thanks, Sam. Long hospital stays and serious injuries require specialized rehabilitation. And the science of rehab has turned very high tech. Here to talk about assistive technology in rehab is Martha Liebler, an occupational therapist at Hartford Hospital's inpatient rehab unit. Welcome. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. You're, what you do is so important. If you've ever had a loved one in the hospital, tell us what is assistive technology? Yeah, so assistive technology is really any tool to increase the quality of life for individuals with disabilities. It can be any item, piece of equipment, or software program or product to increase independence to help provide a productive, fulfilling, independent lifestyle. So assistive technology can really be as simple as a special pencil grip to help patients or complex as an adaptive computer mouse that they move with their head for computer access if they have limited use of their hands or arms. Um, many of these are common items now that we use in assistive technology, a lot of smart home technologies, which is great because a lot of patients are familiar with them, and a lot of patients' family members are familiar with them. They just don't know how to use them in a way to increase their independence. I love it. All right, so tell us, how did this program get started? Yes, so last year, the Connecticut Tech Act, which is part of the Department of Aging and Disability Services, um, was awarded a high-impact innovative technology grant through the Christopher and Dana Reeves Foundation. So through the generosity of this grant, we were able to partner up with the assistive, with the Connecticut Tech Act, and they provided us with assistive technology kits. Um, these kits help us with patients. We can give them demonstrations, and they can trial the equipment here in our unit. So it's been awesome. Um, also, the grant helps the patients trial these items at home for a couple weeks. They're allowed to borrow the items so they don't have to purchase the items in case they're not an appropriate fit once they get home. We also educate family on family and patients on financial assistance. So we want to make sure no matter what the patient's financial situation is that they have access to these items. So we also provide them with that education. All right, Martha, tell us what are some of the items you have in your kits for patients to try? Yeah, so our kits have um, commercially available items. Um, we have a variety of items from anything from adaptive keyboards to adaptive mouses for patients with limited hand use. We have smart locks and smart lights and thermostats that can be controlled by their voice. Um, a lot of the patients here leave with limited mobility. Um, so we also have the Amazon, Google, and uh, Amazon Alexa Show, and Google Home. I never would have thought of smart technology helping people rehab. That is such a great thing. What a tool. Yes, yeah, it's, it's been really awesome. All right. Um, thank you so much, Martha. We really appreciate it with Hartford Hospital and just love seeing how technology is helping people get out of the hospital, back home where they want to be, and get healthy again. Martha Liebler, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.